the good news is that nowadays eggs carry um what's it called expiring dates but what of the one that is not having an expiring date how are you going to know if it is fresh or not hi guys so yeah most of us don't know how to differentiate good eggs from bad eggs and because of that most times we end up making mistake by breaking the bad eggs into the good eggs and now we have to throw everything away so this video i'll be showing you how to easily differentiate the good eggs from the bad eggs so that you don't end up wasting your eggs or wasting your time because that's the most painful thing after breaking like five to six good eggs and then the seventh one or the sixth one ends up to be bad and then you break it into those good eggs guys there's nothing as beautiful as that so in this video i'll be showing you how to easily differentiate your good eggs from your bad eggs so first all you need to do is to get a transparent bowl and add water to the bowl so if you don't have a bowl like this you can use a glass cup transparent glass cup so you'll be able to see um what i'm going to show you now so let us start so yeah like i said we'll be needing a bowl of water for this experiment and i'll be using three eggs i'll be trying these three different eggs so let us start you get the bowl add water to the bowl and then throw your egg inside the bowl if your egg stays at the bottom that means it is fresh and you can use it this is 100 percent good if your egg starts to stand on its own inside the water that means it is slightly fresh that's not too fresh but if your egg after throwing it inside the water it comes up and it's floating that means you should throw it away because that egg is bad so i'm going to be trying the next one and the last one the good news is that nowadays eggs carry um what's it called expiring dates but what of the one that is not having an expiring date how are you going to know if it is fresh or not will you end up spoiling your breakfast or your meal just because you didn't know the egg was not fresh enough so this is the best way to check so learn to check your egg before using it before cooking with it so that you would know if it is good or not so like i said if it's standing on its own it is slightly fresh not 100 percent fresh but if it is lying down that means it is 100 percent fresh so we've tried the three eggs and this one i don't think this is 100 percent fresh because as you can see it is standing on its own so i'm going to be using this today so i don't end up wasting it and i'm going to be trying it in a different container from other eggs so i don't end up yeah wasting my eggs so hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've learned something new today thank you thanks for watching see you on the next video bye